The solderless breadboard is a fantastic tool for prototyping electronics projects. These boards come in a variety of forms, but generally the columns along the edges are all connected together, so this pin is electrically connected to this pin. Additionally, each row of five pins is connected together, but there's no connection between the rows. Inside there are these collections of spring clips that hold onto the leads of your components. You can see this from the construction. We use jumper wires to connect together separate sections. Between the rows has 300 mil spacing, which happens to be the same as a PDIP package. If, for example, we wanted to connect the first pin of this device to the fifth pin of this device, then we could add a jumper wire between those rows. And now the first pin's row is connected to the fifth pin's row. Usually we'll connect our power supply to one rail and the ground to the other rail. And if you want to connect a pin to the supply, you just need a jumper from that row to the rail. If you need to test smaller components like this one, you can get a breakout board that'll plug right into your breadboard. You can quickly hook up a wide variety of components. There's really nothing better for rapid prototyping.